okay guys in this video we're gonna be going over video annotations now video annotations are a way for you to easily interact with your audience they also allow your audience to easily interact with your video what annotations allow you to do is link to any video channel or playlist within YouTube uh, if you remember before I was telling you about um, backlinking in your channel now those links you can link out yet that and that's just a reminder uh, note there that the links that you set up on your channel will actually backlink out to a, another web page on the web that you're trying to target now as you can see I'm emphasizing the word link and that's because um, it's that important backlinks are one of the most important factors in producing web traffic so the way search engines see it is that good quality and relevant backlinks are a sign that your video web page is hot and also trusted so the key here is to have good quality and relevant backlinks and a decent amount going back to your YouTube video page that you are trying to rank for so we're going to be creating a few backlinks uh, annotations to our video and show you how it's all done so let's go alright so here we go we're gonna be starting with this video right here how to customize YouTube channel alright now I have all of my videos already pulled up what we're gonna be doing some annotations on okay so I'm gonna be moving kinda of fast and talking fast at the same time but I will try to be as clear as possible because I want to show you a little link wheel that I'm going to create within our channel here okay so here I am at the net results channel um, that's the main channel here the video channel for the net results so what I'm gonna do I am going to I'm not really sure what this video is about oh yeah it's about <laughs> how to customize a YouTube channel, how to get the layout. So this one is probably relevant to uh, how to optimize switching back to the old design. Okay, so let me slide this over. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna link these two together. So we're gonna link this one to this video and then we're gonna take this video and link it to that one okay makes sense alright so let's get started now there's many annotations you can use here but the ones we're going to use are the simplest ones to use is the note um, you have speech bubbles and you have all these different things you can use but for the sake of time in this video we're just going to use our note okay so once you click on note it gives you a box so now with this box you can change the color change the background color to whatever you want um, the text is normally oh it's normally white but now it's black so this is good this is a good color on top the background of this blue it really pops out so what we can do here we'll say click here and I'm not positioning it anywhere in time on the video right now we'll do that here in a second I just wanna create the uh, checkout out let's see what is it called here we'll just take the whole text there alright so we're just gonna paste all that in here bam okay so we'll stretch this out some so it looks pretty good so what does that say switching back to the old YouTube channel so we could say check out out I wonder if it lets me use quotes YouTube is kinda funny when you start using different foreign characters within your should we stretch it all the way out how does that look that didn't look too bad actually we can put it like right at the top how does that look that looks pretty good check out switching back to blah 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 alright now where it's set right now you can't hardly see it but it is right here and it is at the beginning so it starts at zero now all we can do we'll just click on it and drag it let's say we want to drag it all the way down to let's say we want it to start we want it to be up for I don't know a minute or so about a minute and a half right there before the end and we're going to extend it all the way through the end okay so let's take our scrub bar and get to the position where it's at there it is see how that looks oh that's that turned out pretty pretty nice it's right above that header there um, let's see how far it start where does it start at okay cool it starts well we really don't want it to start yeah about right there is probably good so I'm gonna click on that 
and then I'm going to get my double arrow and then I'm just going to move it there alright so that's good now we need to add a link to the video where we want it to go to okay now what we're doing here is what we're creating juice between the two videos so they'll both get juice back and forth and at the same time it's showing activity on your YouTube channel okay so I'm gonna pop over here and see if I can right click and copy the link location for this video but it doesn't let me grab it here so I really don't want to leave this page so let me see I guess I have to that's fine we'll just go to the page and if you guys have noticed and I'll bring out bring out this point that I'm working in Firefox right now and I'm not getting that little blue error that we were getting when we were working on the Chrome side the Google Chrome side um, the reason why I'm in two count in two browsers I'm sorry is because I'm in two different accounts and I can't have two YouTube accounts open in the same browser so that's the reason for that um, what are we doing here we are grabbing the URL of this video and you could just grab it right here or right here from the share but all the same it's just as good right there now let's say you want to add annotations while we're here on the front you want to add annotations to your video right up here above the video right next to edit video is edit annotations and it's going to take you right back to that screen where we just came from and for some reason or another this part of their interface is really really slow it takes a long time to load so while that's loading let's go back over here now we've copied our link now right here where it says link you want to paste that link right there bam it's good to go and then save and then publish and then we'll just leave it there for right now so let me stop this and we're gonna view both of the pages at one time so let's see how to customize YouTube channel so all we're gonna do we're gonna take this and then we're gonna add another annotation right there and we're gonna make this one blue to differentiate the two then we're gonna paste that in there check out quotes and then we'll do the same stretch this ooh that's small and here's the thing too guys you can pump up the font that's pretty huge we don't really want it that huge it's <laughs> kinda crazy so let's just make it even across okay let's see how that looks um, I'm not liking the blue so let's change that to a black background there we go so now we have that so what we want to do now is we want to grab this videos URL so we've already saved it we already published it now we're gonna go view it on page and then let me stop this so it's not blaring in my ear alright and then we just grab this URL right here copy it and then we come over here and we'll click on our annotation check our link and then right there paste that in there and we can start this one around the end as well like right around there so we'll just drag that all the way out so at the end of the video you know the closing they can just click on that video and then take them to the next one so what that does in a lot of ways it, it helps your visitors interact more with your videos and at the same time you're interacting with them and they're always in the loop and they'll always be informed with the most relevant videos concerning um, your series of what you're doing let's say you are creating a series of like five videos for a product that you're trying to uh, launch or that you want to drive them to let's say your offer page on your website basically what you would do is just create you know a series of videos linking to each other and then like at the last video have a call of action in the let me go back to this video in the description area okay it's simple just like that so anyway um, back here we have our link pasted in and this video is ready we should probably position it to where it's gonna go so in okay so it's about right there and then okay we have our link in there we have everything good to go here Let's save it and I'm going to publish it okay then we're gonna watch it okay okay so let's see if this works so let's go all the way down to the end here alright so there's our link okay it popped up close that where did it start at somewhere 
Oh, started pretty far back, huh? Okay, so it starts about right here. Then it goes, goes, goes. It's not that long of a video. It's only 1 minute and 13 seconds. So then, it pops up, click on it, and it should take you to this video. Let's see if that's true, okay? Okay, great. It worked. So it took us to this video. Now let me go back to the other tab, and then we're going to switch to the video that we just came from on that other browser tab. Okay, so let's start here. Bam, it's playing. Blah, 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 blah. What is this guy talking about? Okay, bam, there you go. Check out switching back to the old YouTube upload design. Bam. Click there, and there you go. Alright. So now, what you have done, guys, which is good for your video SEO, what you've done is you've just created a relationship between two videos which Google and YouTube will see as relevant to each other and push you more into the uh, the ranking field the playing field of the rank game alright so that is the video on YouTube annotations there's a lot lot more to YouTube annotations but there's so much to it I just gave you the basics and you'll see how to utilize it once you get in there um, as you can see you were able to change colors um, so it's really cool so that's it guys I will see you guys in the next video where we're gonna be going over insights I'll see you guys over there